today is actually the day after the budget but we have inspired tt lineup um we're supposed to be making some contacts we are going to do some recce some side visits i switched my mindset during the pandemic and actually started doing i want to be able to like every iteration every time i do it learn something new and try to enforce that and in doing that i also want you to help me build my community it has been slowly building and thank you thank you for all of you who have been able to share and who have been enjoying the content um let's get to it from your boy mike so the idea is that we see crabs selling all over trinidad but what is the process to get this to you guys to be able to purchase So as I was saying in the vlog earlier, not all the time is in the office that we find stories. So sometimes we have to go out and make connections. So hopefully we'll be featuring Larry in future episodes of Inspire TT and what's the process that is going to be vending this crab here in Karani. Stay tuned. Crabs are usually used in our national dish called Kalalu and it is known by the name of ironback. Though there are many various species of crabs that can be found in the lands and in our mangroves, the blue crab is the most popular. Crab catching has been around for many years and it's still quite common to see them being sold on the roadside, especially in this area, Karani. Try to hold the gun, You're going to try to hold the gun, You're to get pinched. You're get pinched. Two. Like you will, you will approach a crab like this. You understand? It's normal and sink to the thing that says you so the same for you from the over here and come so yeah. Alright so as I was saying in the vlog this is our recce so what we're basically doing is understanding the space and one gain familiar with the subject matter as you see here what's all in our crap Adi Bushman, he know what he's doing. But you'll see me trying to do the same thing. I don't know if I'll be as good as Otto. So because Otto and myself both host and produce Inspire TT production, a big part of it is communication. A good video producer is a communicative link between the client and the production team. We have to understand the space and that's what we were doing here earlier today. Um, we had to be able to handle the space, make a schedule, meet the deadlines, um, give Nari our expectations because we wouldn't know the space and we have to get familiar. Also, you have to remember, a great video producer has knowledge of not only the project, but the individual task that has to be achieved on that particular day. Alright, so it's the end of another long work day. Um, take the mask off. So today we actually did a site visit. We were able to go to Krabi um, and establish the you know, the main region today as well. Why we had to do it this way is that we didn't have a contact for the individual that we wanted to talk to and we wanted to establish that story that will be in a future episode of inspire tt as i said before not all the time you will be able to have an opportunity to do a site visit but today we had that opportunity we were able to establish what we we're coming in to go and do for the next episode we get to establish the space so you auto myself in the space it gave us an opportunity to see from a production perspective what are the elements that would go into actually do that particular show and we had an agreement that we were able to go into the swamp in the future with them for the particular episode so that was important thank you for joining me here on cameraman life if you enjoy the content please make sure and share please make sure and subscribe please make sure and tell somebody about it help me build my community and i can only do that with your help bye for now from here boy mike